Welcome back. You're watching CNN News 18 with me, Poonam Burde. And the top focus remains the Israel war. The terror attack by Hamas has started on Saturday. We are one week into the war and the conflict still continues. In fact, it's only escalating with each passing day. It has entered its seventh day today. The number of casualties are only going up. CNN News 18 has boots on ground. We're getting you the latest coming in as far as the status of the war goes. But first, let's get you uh, what exactly the casualty figures have been at. Here's a look. Uh, in Israel, over 3,400 people have been injured is what uh, the Israel's uh, defense forces have now come out and confirmed. Uh, Israelis killed, unfortunately, are over 1,300. This is just on the side of Israel. There are many civilians that have been killed on uh, the Gaza Strip as well. Palestinians killed in Gaza, over 1,500. This is the figure that has been put out by uh, the Palestinian uh, uh, Liberation Organization. Palestinians injured uh, in Gaza is over 6,600. This is uh, as far as the both air and uh, ground offensive of Israeli Defense Forces is concerned. Hostages taken by Hamas, over 50 is what we're learning. And remember, the Israeli Defense Forces and the Israeli government had made it clear that until these hostages are ensured, their safety is ensured, there is going to be no power, no food, no electricity that reaches the Gaza Strip. As far as the number of Hamas terrorists killed are concerned, over 1,500 have been eliminated so far, including some of their top commanders, is what the Israeli Defense Forces have confirmed. Over 4,500 rockets have been fired from Gaza, is what uh, Israel uh, claims. From Gaza coming in is uh, those number of uh, rockets, but Israel is fighting back as well. Hamas targets that have been struck by the Israeli Defense Forces, both by the Army and the Air Force, is over 2,290 at last count. That's the latest that we are gathering as far as uh, the situation of the war is concerned. News 18's Neeraj Kumar is reporting from Ground Zero, showing us what the trail of destruction looks like. Take a look. Udhar Gaza hai, idhar Israel hai. Gaza 42 km lambai mein hai, aur 6 se 12 km ke chodai mein. Wo jo aapko dhuwa dikh raha hai, wo Gaza ka hissa. Aur yahan se Gaza aur Israel ke beech ki sima ke duri Jerot aur uske aas pas. एक किलोमीटर से आठ किलोमीटर तक है लेकिन हम यहाँ इसलिए खड़े हैं यहाँ पहले आपको दिखाते हैं बर्बादी का मंजर है आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से आग जनी बमबाजी की गई है किस तरह से गाड़ियों को जलाया गया है लेकिन सबसे पहले आपको दिखा दें कि यहीं से हजारों की संख्या में जिरौत करम आपको दिखाएंगे ये जो पॉइंट है यहाँ से हजारों की संख्या में यहाँ से इस पॉइंट से हजारों की संख्या में हमास के लड़ाके गाजा पट्टी से इधर आए और इधर रेम जो म्यूजिक फेस्टिवल का हम लोग जिक्र कर रहे हैं वहाँ पर जब हमला हुआ सुबह में वहाँ से भागते हुए बहुत से युवा यहूदी हजारों की संख्या में थे बहुत लोग इसी तरफ से भागे यहाँ की तस्वीरें अब नीचे की देखिए किस तरह से पानी की ये पानी की बोतलें शीशे यहाँ देख सकते हैं ये हर चीज़ बिखरा पड़ा ही है उस दिन के मंजर की तस्वीरें खाने का देखिए कोई पिज्ज़ा पार्टी से पिज्ज़ा ले जा रहा होगा यहाँ पार्टी से पिज्ज़ा ले जा रहा होगा खाना है और हर तरह की चीज़ें यहाँ कुछ लोगों के कपड़े हैं जिन्हें हमास के लड़ाकों ने मार गिराया था उनके कपड़े हैं ये देखिए ये किस तरह था का मंजर था किस तरह की तबाही रही होगी हजारों की संख्या में थे जो पेड़ थे छोटे छोटे जो पौधे थे वो जले हुए हैं यहाँ कार की स्थिति देखिए इस कार में किस तरह से बमबाजी आगजनी की गई है इसे उड़ा दिया गया है इसके तस्वीर देख के आपको अंदाज़ा लग सकता है कि क्या रहा है यहाँ देखिए कुछ खाने का सामान था ये देखिए करम दिखाइए हर स्टोरी मार्मिक है किस तरह से भयावह बर्बरता जो नरसंहार इसराइल की तरफ से कहा जा रहा है कि नरसंहार हुआ यहाँ देख रहे पार्टी मूड में था क्योंकि एक नोवा त्यौहार यहूदियों का चल रहा है यहाँ आप देख सकते हैं ये सेव कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स और फास्ट फूड ये सब आपको यहाँ देखने को मिल रहा है now, Ashdod is one of the areas which was a target of uh, Hamas uh, terrorists and their terror strikes. Several parts in Israel, not just along the border with the Gaza Strip, but several parts into mainland Israel have also been targets of uh, air attacks, of uh, missile attacks. My colleague Abhishek Jha spoke with the deputy mayor of Ashdod on what exactly happened and how the city is now uh, limping back to normalcy. Listen in. If, if Mr. Uh, mayor could explain what the situation in the city is right now. The deputy mayor. Deputy mayor. Of course. Me meanwhile, uh -huh. uh, the situation uh, right now is that uh, we have uh, sirens uh -huh. uh, a few times a day, uh -huh. and uh, we have some heat. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. inside the city. Mm -hmm. We have a few people that have been injured. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some threat about uh, penetration of terrorists mm -hmm. in, in the, the first days. In the city? In the city. We had this threat mm -hmm. and uh, that's why the, there was a blockage on the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now it, was, uh, it seems like uh, with the days they clear our army mm -hmm. the existence of the terrorists inside <laughs> Israel, mm -hmm. especially in the south mm -hmm. cities. And uh, what is left is uh, mostly, of course, the missiles. Mm -hmm. Now, regarding the missiles, we have, uh, of course, our protections from Iron Dome, mm -hmm. which is a really good protection and uh, guarantees us somehow more comfortable life mm -hmm. as much as possible during the war. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, most of the people already, since it's not our first attack, mm -hmm. and uh, we are getting used to these uh, emergency situations, from, from time to time. In the wee hours of last Saturday morning is when the first strike happened. That is when Hamas terrorists struck a music festival. It wasn't just Israeli nationals, it wasn't just Israeli civilians that were killed and caught in the crossfire. There several foreign nationals who were attending that music festival became casualties of this terror attack. The Israeli Defense Forces gives us a sense of what remains now one week later. Take a look at these haunting images. We're pulling into the site of the rave, the Nova rave, near uh, Kibbutz Reim. We had to wait for over an hour to get here because there was a threat that terrorists might be still running around near Be'eri, where we were yesterday. There's clothes everywhere on the ground, cars marked with graffiti and shattered. Each and every one of those cars had to be checked by forces and marked to see that it wasn't booby-trapped by the terrorists who left them there. You see the car seat of the baby just left in here. I, I have no idea what happened to them. I can't imagine getting in the car trying to leave and just being shot at. There's the belt that they use with, with the paragliders that they came in from Gaza. People are parked all over this festival and, and Explosions are still happening and while the sun is setting and it's getting dangerous to be here. So we're being moved out. The war only escalating, the offensive escalating from both sides. It's innocent, unarmed civilians that are caught in the crossfire. We'll keep a track of that and much more here on CNN News 18. For now, a quick break.